Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exile State Comics. I'm Justin, doing a haul for books that came out on June 22nd. So, today. New comic book day. So, happy new comic book day, everybody. Yay! <laughs> um, so, a lot of good books out this week. I got uh, a decent amount, and I also went and checked out the dollar bin and ended up bringing, like, five books from the dollar bin home. Which I may start doing that more. It was kind of fun. So I'll go over those after the new books. Um, but, you know, thanks for checking us out. After I go over all the books, I'll go through the comments from last week's haul. So leave a comment, and I'll go over it next week's haul. That's how that works. Super, super easy. Okay, so books, DC, Image, Marvel. That's how we'll go with it, okay, for the new books. All right, first is... Action Comics, 950-something, 958, 958, uh, Path of Doom. This was actually really good. I, I went ahead and read it just because I wanted to make sure I, I knew what was going on in this story. Um, and it's it's actually a really good book. Uh, of course, Dan Jurgens is writing it, so, you know, it's going to be good. But, I don't know, I, I, I like it, but I'm not, like, a huge Superman fan, um... For whatever reason, though it's a really good story, and I'm kind of digging that they brought Doomsday back and like kind of playing through that. And Lois is really having like a mini freak out because she sees the other Clark on TV who isn't Superman. They go with that, um, and then you know, of course, her husband's out there fighting Doomsday, and where they came from, Doomsday killed him once before. So, and they know there's not like a recharging or regeneration matrix in the uh, Fortress of Solitude on this Earth. So We also do get to see some of Dr. Oz, so if you're following that, this book does, you know, because of that, ties in with, um, you know, Rebirth more closely than some of the other Rebirth titles. So, All right, next, Detective Comics, 938, 935, sorry, I'm ahead. 935. I think I got the variant cover, or the second cover. I thought it was really cool, um, with Batwoman and Batman here. Uh, I really enjoyed the first issue, because, you know, it was just kind of like bringing the team together, and uh, Batman going to Batwoman and saying, hey, I need you on my team, I need you helping me out, help train everybody, because something's coming, and they're not ready. So then they, you know, pull Spoiler and everybody in, everybody, even Clayface, they even recruit uh, Clayface, so, um, I don't know, it's really, like I said, I haven't read this one yet, so I don't know exactly what happens in this one yet, but really excited to read it, really enjoying that book, doesn't really tie into the overarching, um, Rebirth stuff, I don't think so, maybe, it, maybe this issue, will, the first issue didn't, neither did Batman, other than the appearance of those two new characters, so, we're getting a lot of new characters. And speaking of that, we also this week, I got The Flash, uh, issue number one, of course. Um, of So this is just Flash, the ongoing series. Rebirth was last week. We got a new character in there, and we get a new character in this issue. Um, you know, right at the very end, so I don't know if you would say, no, it's a full appearance, because there's more than more than a couple panels. So, yeah, I, I read this one, of course, also. Uh, it was really, really good. It didn't so much tie into Rebirth as the first Flash and Teen Titans, I guess. Um, but you you are getting the creation of a new character. So that was kind of cool. I haven't shown you guys anything this week, have I? Crap. Sorry, here's a Flash. The Flash. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's really cool. Um, I'll show you something in Detective Comics, or in Action Comics first. If I don't hiccup to death. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find it. Hey, we get a good shot of Superman going against Doomsday. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then we'll dig through. We're going we're gonna to show you something from everything. Because that's just kind of how we have to do it, right? Um, I don't know. There we got Batwoman. Yeah. And a Green Lantern book. Alright, so that's DC this week. Uh, for Image, I just got one book. I picked up Drifter, issue number 12. Uh, really enjoying the series. What does it say? It's the Spectrum Award winner, 2016. Oh, good job. Congratulations. Um, we'll look at that. If there's not too much of a glare. Yeah, there you go. 
crazy stuff. This is a really great book if you like like sci-fi, like frontier kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, Marvel, here we go. Ultimates, issue number eight. Highly recommend this book. If you're not reading the Ultimates for Marvel, it's a really, well, if you like the cosmic kind of stuff-ish. Um, it's just been a really, really good book. Really strong book, and I want it to continue past Civil War so that we get more of this team. You know what I'm saying? I really hope that it does. But really cool cover here. I really like that cover. Thanos and Galactus. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Great book. All right, next. Did I show you something? I don't know. Did I? Bloody hell. Hold on. There's something, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, that's from... They just showed us that from the other thing. Hold on. I'm going to find something, maybe. Probably not. There, let's just show you. I mean, the art is awesome in this book. And it's a great story. Um, Al Ewing's doing the writing, and Kenneth Rockefort is doing is the artist. So definitely check this book out. I think the first trade's out. I want to say, or they'll probably do a timely comics on it soon too. You know, Marvel timely comics where you get the first three for three bucks. Pretty good deal. Uh, the Mighty Thor issue number eight. Uh, I believe the Odinson storyline, the Viking storyline, is over. So we're gonna go back to. Jane Foster, Thor, and some stuff. Let me show you something. I'm not forgetting. I'm just trying to find something good. Kingpin's in this issue. Yeah, and yeah, some whole bunch of shield. Whole bunch of shield. Um, is Thor in this issue? What the crap is going on? What is this? What is this? This is crazy. We get her at the very beginning for like a page? I guess because she's g it's like, oh gosh. I don't know. I'm a I don't know. I'm not sure about that issue. Alright. Moving on. Uncanny Avengers issue number 10. Ultron Reborn Dun dun dun! Awesome, Ultron Reborn. So pumped about this. Um, did I read issue nine? I don't know. Seems like we're starting a new story here. Oh yeah, Wasp. That's awesome. So this has been a good. Bu this is this the only Avengers book I'm still getting? I think it is. I think it is. I'm losing so many Marvel books. It seems really really fast. Doctor Strange is next. <laughs> We're starting, uh, this is Last Days of Magic Part 4. So, the story's still going strong. Something about this book reminds me of, like, Generation X. I think it's the art. Am I wrong? Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. What? Can you even see that? It's just crazy. But what do you... Look at that junk. Yeah. All right. Doctor Strange. You know the movie's coming out, so you might as well jump on the series and get a little background if you don't know the character that well. So, boom. That was all the new books from this week. Um, and like I said, I got a few back issues here. Go through these really quick. Picked up Uncanny Avenger. <laughs> Uncanny X-Men. <laughs> Uncanny X-Men. 448. With uh, Claremont. was doing the writing at this point, too. So that was really cool. When was this one made? Oh, when was this one made? 2004. So, I thought it was a cool cover. I mean, it's like a Wolverine cover, you know? Um, it seems kind of like an iconic cover or something. It's probably nothing. But it's a dollar and it's in good shape. Alright, and then the next four books are uh, all the same, but different. Because the numbers are different. Nightwing, 71. So, I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't have this. And it's like, a new chapter begins with a bang. So, got 71, 72, 73, oh yeah, oh yeah, and uh, 74. There we go. 
So I thought that was cool. I think I only have like just a couple issues of the original um, Nightwing series. So I was really pumped to see those. And they were just like in in uh, they had a section in the one dollar bins or one dollar long boxes that said like new as of like a couple weeks ago. And so I was like, we'll let's see what's what they just got in or what they just put out here. And they were all in there. I was like, all right, well, I'll take those. And, you know, $5 for five books? Sure. And I, I seemingly got a complete storyline. That's really, really awesome. So I was super pumped about that. All right, so let's go over the comments from last week. Uh, we'll do those. Uh, and like I said, leave a comment, and I'll do what I'm about to do to your comment next week. Yeah. All right, remember Porkin says, thanks for commenting, man. He said... It's smooth and creamy. It's low calorie and delicious, and it kills. It's the stuff. I remember that movie. I remember that movie. Good advice for readers about jumping in. It's a school of thought I've recently started following. I uh, couldn't agree more about Invincible and its filler issues. It's just a good read. Um, he said, "We have Civil War II, and I've heard nothing but good things about the story. So I may read it as I." felt the same way you did about it being a marble cash grab. Yeah, really. I really did feel that that's what it was. Um, I haven't been let down yet by Rebirth so far. Granted, I'm not reading all the titles, but what I have read... Oh no, there's more. i got to click more. Um, was Has impressed me. I can't say DC has garnered more attention with my home. Yeah, yeah, it really has. Like, I'm... I'm reading action comics. I mean, that says it right there. I don't normally get that. I bought a Teen Titans, or not Titans, Titans. I bought Titans. I've never got Titans before. So they're definitely making me read more of their books than, you know, I have in the past. Like, I mean, of course, I've got, I really have never gotten Titans before, though. I bought a couple issues of Teen Titans when Brett Booth was working on that. Now he's working on Titans. So. I'm really just following the artist. But the story's good and f fills in, you know, it's making me like the characters even more um, than I did. So I think with that, they're doing a great job and pulling me in uh, to some of their other titles. So let me know, like, how that kind of fits in with you, too. But yeah, definitely give Civil War a read. Um, it's. <sighs> they're doing a lot in there, man. It's kind of crazy what, what's happening. And, you know. Like I said, I'm dropping a lot of Marvel books, it seems, like or series that I've liked have come to an end. So, yeah, it's one book to hang on to. Like I said, I wouldn't get their tie-ins. Unless you just really want them, I wouldn't get them. Because you can get them in trade later, and it'll be cheaper, and nobody cares about the tie-ins. Think Secret Wars tie-ins. Nothing happened. Could have just read the Secret Wars book, which a lot of people did, and I didn't. So it's my fault. All right, moving on. <laughs> Holger Peterson said, uh, one highlight of last week's comics was the conclusion to the Poison Ivy Cycle of Life and Death miniseries. I agree. Um, unfortunately, the last issues were done by another guy, but overall, the art was unbelievably good. That is very good. All six books were brilliant. Also, like Superman 1, Green Arrow 1, Uncanny Inhumans 10, and Civil War 2 2. Yes. How is Uncanny Inhumans? Who's reading that? Let me know how it is, because. I'm not reading any Inhuman books. Am I missing anything? Let me know. Let me know. I mean... And if you're reading Inhumans, are you also reading X-Men? Or are you just Inhumans? Things things I, I wonder. Alright, next. Uh, someone who's commented for the first time, so I really appreciate you commenting. And thanks, Holger. Awesome. Um, KMP201079. How's it going? Really appreciate you commenting. And they say... What is one book, other than Green Arrow, which I love, they put in parentheses there, uh, should I pick up talking about Rebirth here? Man, that is a good question. Well, um, all right, I guess Flash. Man, I, I hate to say that because they're so good. Uh, I haven't really read a bad one yet, and I, I haven't read Aquaman or Wonder Woman. Those are the two that I don't think I've, I've picked up. I think I picked up everything else at this point. But, um... Man. It depends. If you just want a really good story, I don't know. You can't go wrong with either Detective Comics or Batman. 
can't go wrong with either one of those. Um, but if you really want to just follow the storyline of what's going to go on in Rebirth, um, I think that Flash would be the one to get. Because it's, it's going to tie in more. But then again, like I said, Action Comics this week tied in a lot. And, and this week's Flash really didn't tie in at all. Other than talking about it, but they didn't. Nothing was done about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was kind of like a day in the life of Barry Allen, being the Flash, which is all. Which is good. It's good to get back to that. That's kind of what we're getting in Green Arrow. So that's okay. But I wanted the story to progress. Teen Titans, it is. So it just really depends on what you want. You can't go wrong with whichever one you pick up. Just which which one has characters you like. Just get that one. That would be my advice. And we're long, long, roundabout way of saying. Okay, next, Suburban Neon Weekend. How's it going, man? Uh, I said, Titans was like my least favorite Rebirth book this week, only because they re- reiter- reiterated a lot of the aspects of Wally West and Rebirth, which I had already seen in The Flash. Cleaning Room's my pick of the week. Clean Rooms. Oh, Clean Room. Yes, from DC. Oh, yes. Or is it like a Vertigo book? I don't know. Um, I haven't read it, but Aaron, the editor-in-chief over at comicbook.com, um, he he reads it, and he really likes it. So I've heard good things about it. I may try to pick it up and trade later, I think. Um, but yeah, Titans Rebirth really... I mean, it was just the team getting to know each other again and going through those memories. So you needed to, th- to see that. I think what I took away from that issue was the the picture itself changing um, from the beginning where he wasn't in it to the end where he was. And so was he always in the picture and it was just blurred out by whoever or whatever? Um, or blurred out just because they couldn't remember that he was in it. But as soon as they remembered, then he was there. So was he always in the picture? That's my question. Anybody who read Titan's Rebirth? Was he always in the picture? Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, check out comicbook.com. Like I said, I'm the managing editor over there. We write things all the time. Uh, we've got great people who write for us, and it's awesome. Put up great articles. So check it out. And I do the new comics list over there every Monday. So every Monday you can go over to comicbook.com, and there's a uh, new comics list, which gives you everything that's coming out this week, which is always a lot. So... This video has gone way long enough, everybody. Like, subscribe, do that stuff. Um, I'll be back later with another video. So I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch. So have a good one.